Welcome back to the channel and today we're taking a look at the Outcast and the Creighton Arma's newly released 4S line. Now I've made several videos with these two trucks and I'm really enjoying them quite a bit. Uh, but I've decided to make a comparison video between these two because I have gotten some questions here on the channel about which one uh, is the best between these two. And to be honest guys, they're both awesome trucks. They both have good qualities and I really like both of them a lot. So it's kind of hard to pick uh, which one out of these two would be the best for uh, any given person. So what we're going to do here in this video, we're going to take a look at these two. We're going to compare them. We're going to look at the differences in build quality because there are a few differences uh, between the way they're built. And we're going to show some run footage. And it's all going to come down to what kind of driver you are. What what do you want to do with these two uh, RCs? Are you like a hardcore basher? Uh, do you want to bash? But do you you know? But you want overall stability? Um, we're going to cover all that here in this video today uh, because these two trucks, even though they're both awesome and you can bash with both of them and they're both fast, they do handle and drive differently. And there are different capabilities between these two trucks. So we're going to cover that today in this video. But first. Let's go ahead and do a size comparison uh, so, you, so you guys can get a good idea of how uh, they compare in size. So let's go ahead and take a look at these two trucks side by side. If you like what we do here on the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new content. All right, so we're taking a look here at the Outcast and the Creighton Outcast here on the left, Creighton here on the right. These two trucks are the same width However, the Creighton is longer, as you can see there. The Creighton does have the longer chassis. And the Creighton does have the bigger wing here in the back. The Outcast has a smaller wing. And then if we take a look here down at ground level, the Outcast is slightly taller than the Creighton, slightly, not by much. Now we're gonna take a look at both trucks side by side with the bodies off. Again, Outcast here on the left, Creighton here on the right. They are built the same. They are running the same motor and ESC, both 3S and 4S capable, of course. Price point for these two is $469.99 uh, as of right now of the making of this video. Both uh, trucks have the same gearing, a 13 tooth pinion and a 57 tooth spur. That is the stock gearing for these two trucks. But look here at the Creighton. It does have a longer chassis and we do kind of have this empty spot here because the chassis is longer. And we do have the longer uh, chassis brace, obviously. But here is a good spot. Uh, if you're like me and you want to do speed runs, that's a good spot to put a little GPS. That's where I put my GNSS analyzer. So you do have that extra little spot here because the chassis is longer compared over here to the Outcast where you don't have that extra spot because the chassis is shorter. Other than that, everything is pretty much the same with these two trucks. They do have different tires uh, and rims. The Creighton here has a, a different rim and tire. These are the Copperhead LPs. The D boots and they do have a different tread pattern than the Outcast over here. The Outcast is using the backflip LPs with a different rim, as you can see, both 17 millimeter hex, but we do have a different tread pattern between these two, as you can see there. Tires are about the same size. Uh, I, I don't have any complaints with these tires. They don't, they balloon out a little bit, but not too much. Uh, nothing that's gonna be substantial to where you can't control it. Just a quick overall comparison here between the build quality of these two. All right, now that we've compared them in size, let's go ahead and talk about each truck because there are some differences between these two. The Outcast, uh, you're gonna get easier backflips. It's built to bash really hard. The Outcast is, and because it has a shorter chassis, you're going to be able to get those backflips easier off the ramp. You're not going to have to go as high off the ramp. You don't even really need a ramp to backflip this bad boy. 
Uh, you could pretty much backflip uh, the Outcast off, a, you know, off a curb if you wanted to. Uh, because of the shorter chassis, though, we're going to get a quicker rotation in the air when we're doing the backflips. And even though it does have a shorter chassis, we are still going to get a little bit of stability there, especially in the turns because of the wide stance here with the Outcast and the Creighton. The Outcast, of course, you're going to get wheelies on command. You're going to get uh, backflips, double backflips on command if you can hit them and land them. Like I said, it doesn't really take much to uh, get the Outcast going in a backflip. I've gotten to the point now where I can just double backflip off the ramp without even really trying. I mean, the hardest part is landing it, obviously, but other than that, I mean, the Outcast is just a beast, and it is very, very durable, guys. I'm telling you. Both of these trucks are really durable. I've wrecked out plenty of times here with the Outcast, and it's held up nicely. I haven't broken a single part on either one of these trucks. The only incident I did have was with the uh, Creighton in one of my past videos. The battery did come unstrapped. And that was probably my fault. Maybe I didn't strap it down tight enough. I'm not sure, but uh, it did come out and the battery was ejected <laughs> from the truck. Um, so other than that though, we haven't damaged any parts on either one of these trucks. They've handled nicely, especially with my bad driving. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Outcast, I'm gonna tell you guys, is made for somebody who is a hardcore basher who really likes, you know, taking their truck out on the ramp, who really likes backflips, uh, wheelies. Um, and honestly, the, the Outcast is pretty fast uh, for what it is. I think somebody the other day was asking here on the channel about how to get these trucks up to about 60. You could go up a couple of teeth here on the pinion, but me personally, I don't really gear up my monster trucks. Um, I only do speed runs for you guys uh, when I'm making, you know, when I'm doing a maiden run or whatnot, I'll do a speed run, but it's normally stock. Uh, very, very rarely, if at all, will I change the gearing in any of my monster trucks. Pretty much off-road is how I run them, off-road and on the ramp. But to get that 60 mile an hour mark, like I said, maybe go up a couple of teeth on the uh, pinion if that's something you wanna do. So moving on to the Creighton. The Creighton handles really, really good, guys. Uh, you've got the wide stance again, and both of these trucks have uh, front and rear sway bars, so that's really gonna help out on high-speed straightaways. It's really gonna keep it locked in uh, when you're full throttle down the street or you know off-road, wherever you're running it. The front and rear sway bars really do help out, and I'm glad Arma included that in these uh, kits because even though it doesn't seem like much, that really does help out with handling. Uh, so that's a good feature that both of these trucks have. The Creighton, you're gonna be able to do some backflips off the ramp. However, because of the longer chassis, it's gonna take a little more time. It's gonna rotate slower in the air, in other words. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna, you're not gonna get that fast rotation that you're gonna get here with the Outcast, where you can squeeze out double and even maybe triple backflips. Uh, whereas the Creighton, you, you can do a backflip and maybe a double uh, if you're lucky, but it's going to turn a whole lot slower in the air. Um, the Creighton, in my opinion, is geared for those kind of people that really like good handling, but do want to bash, but do like good handling uh, overall. And if you're running at high speeds, it's going to handle better. Um, so if you're somebody that really likes doing, that really likes driving fast, that really likes uh, bashing, but likes that added stability because of the longer chassis, I say uh, the Creighton would be your pick. The Creighton, it's kind of low to the ground and it kind of squats, kind of like the E-Revo when you're goosing it or when you're giving it full throttle. So you're really gonna get a lot better control and overall stability with the Creighton. It is bashable. You can bash really hard with a Creighton, but if your main focus is overall stability while you bash, or stability at high speeds, I say the Creighton is right for you. As I said before in this video, both of these trucks are very durable. Um, I've wrecked out quite a bit with both of them. So here's just a quick clip of some of the outtakes of uh, my bad driving. <laughs> uh, but it'll give you a good idea of how durable these trucks really are. So uh, check this out.
All right, guys, to sum up, the outcast is for the person that's a hardcore balls to the wall basher that really likes doing backflips, really likes taking it off road and on the ramp. The outcast is going to have no problem squeezing out double backflips, willies on command. It's fast. It's going to be stable for the most part off road. And because you have that shorter chassis, you're going to get a quicker rotation off the ramp. Whereas if you go with the Creighton, you're going to get overall stability at high speeds. The Creighton is not going to rotate as fast off the ramp. You can squeeze out some backflips. You can uh, bust some willies on command. However, the Creighton is going to be geared for that kind of RC driver that likes stability over everything else. The Creighton is a good basher. The Outcast is a good basher. Both of them are awesome trucks. They do handle differently. It all depends on what you guys want to do with these trucks to determine which one is right for you. Hopefully this helped uh, in case you were on the fence about either one of these trucks and you weren't sure which one to pick up. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for this video. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you again next time. Later.